Maybe there's another phantom shovel knight over there? Ow. Okay, can I just... I don't know how I accomplished that, but I'm gonna go with it. Yeah, I think I may as well just accept my fate if I just die right here. Yeah. Because then I'll have a second chance of at least trying to get up to that spot. I just need to figure out a means of how to get there in the first place. So that's gonna be a little bit tricky, but I think we'll work it out. That's a bomb. So it turns out, bombs exploding in your face? Probably not all that great for you. Advanced tactics, man. These enemies... I appreciate the changes in the artificial intelligence, because so far, they're giving me a much more brutal time compared to the first enemies we encountered in, like, grasslands. Definitely a challenge, and I appreciate that. This game is definitely delivering in the challenge department. <sighs> I wish I had a hookshot in this game. Ah! Oh, but I'm wondering if I could just maybe... No! That wasn't at all what I intended to do. You, come here. All right, I just need you to... Okay, can you just, like... It's not that hard. Really. Okay. That... No, wait a minute! That's... Uh, that's right, that's not gonna work at all. <laughs> okay, well... There's either something up there, or there basically isn't. That's the ultimatum I'm going with at this point, and... It's tempting! Like, I really want to see if I can find anything of use up there, but at the same time, what if there just isn't? Like, what if it's just, like, a dead end and there's not actually anything up there? That's what worries me under these circumstances. Okay. It's like, like, I'm trying to jump on top of him, but it's just not working out. You, first of all, okay, you're being an arse. I need you to stop doing that. Eh. 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 Okay. First of all, get rid of you, and then I'm going to go reclaim my flying treasure bags. Alright, we're good? We're good. It's not worth investigating that area right now. Maybe I'll come back to it if I have a better means of travel. Currently, jumping on top of Phantom to jump at the same time as you, if they're in a practically identical distance to you, is just... It's not going to be an option. Like, it could work under some circumstances, but clearly not under mine, because I just have bad luck. Catch this fish. Don't let it disappear like the previous one did. <laughs> uh, in the previous episode, I should clarify. One of those. And move on. Uh... Think this may be the last checkpoint? I'm not doing exceptionally well in terms of health. Oh. Hey. That was a rather pleasant surprise. Thank you, VAM. Thank you, game. Uh, I'm gonna equip this... Uh, I have no way of knowing what this boss is capable of, so how about the orb? The magical orb. Well, this isn't foreboding at all. Woo! Hey! Leave me alone! Show yourself, Plague Knight! Your trickery will not stop me. Trickery? Hee <laughs> The flutes of my research are no mere trick. Hee <laughs> Now let's have a listen, shall we? I promise it will be enlightening. Oh, indeed. Stop that! Oh! Jumping, jumpy, jumpy, jumpy. Stabby, stabby. Ugh! Okay, don't worry, I will employ the same tactics that I used in the previous boss fights. Just keep jumping around like a lunatic, spam all of my magic immediately, and hope I win. So far, this seems to be working out. But it's- my luck is probably gonna run out as soon as I'm out of magic. The boss fight room is transforming. It's getting pretty spooky. Pretty awfully spooky. I'm guessing I- Oh my god. He's just- He's destroying the entire arena! Oh, uh, Alright. Well, now we're out of magic, so we're going to have to rely on the old fisticuffs for now. This is my version of the fisticuffs, so I'm just gonna go with it. Uh, I wonder why those count as, like, bouncing platforms. Like, it looks like they're just regular old platforms. Is that it? Oh. Okay. <laughs> I, I expected there to be more within that fight, but I I thought... I thought I wasn't even draining most of his health half the time. I'm more impressed by the fact that I did not even have to use an Icor of Renewal during that entire sequence. Uh, Alright. Rest easy, Shovel Knight. You have earned it. And so... Sir Jerkoff sleeps the night away, and awakes to the sight of a campsite that he can dig up! Hey! Well, 
That was a pretty good adventure. Like, the, the lair of the Plague Knight was actually pretty interesting. It had some cool gimmicks, it didn't give me too much trouble. And hey, I see some treasure appearing over that symbol. So you know what this means, we're going to have to use the Icor of Renewal once we get into the chambers of the Iron Whale once more. Right, so... This is gonna be a bit of an interesting one. I think I'm gonna have to approach this a little bit slowly, because... Yeah, I'm destroying part of the arena! Yep, that was smart. Okay. We're gonna use the Icor. <laughs> uh, right. Up and gobble that down. Excellent. Now, what is the range on this thing? I guess we're gonna find out. I just used the Icor of Renewal. Right. Um... <laughs> I'm not thinking right now. <laughs> Oh my god, okay, that would have made this so much easier had I not messed up. I am a total putz, goodness me. I do dearly apologize for my idiocy, ladies and gentlemen. You're probably, like, screaming at the video right now. Like, seriously, what are you doing, man? I'm sorry. As it turns out, my brain functions really aren't all that adequate. But yeah, like, just as I figured, this is a pretty good means you could use to sort of cheese these areas in order to acquire as much treasure as humanly possible. Even if it only lasts for about 60 seconds, it's doing a serviceable job. So, let's just get the remaining treasure, absorb it all up, and check and see if there are any secrets at this point, because I think this is the end of the bonus room. God. <laughs> I just wasted an Icar. Alright, well, you know what this means. We're gonna have to go back and get some more. <laughs> because why not? Hey. I am in need of aid. Please, give me aids. Okay. One of the second chalice, um... I think I'm just gonna get another one. Why not? Ooh! Awesome. Thank you very well, Mr. Blobfish. So, what else can we accomplish in the remaining time that we have? Well, it appears as though that there is an, a, like, some sort of blimp over this town, so... I'm gonna go check out the armor outpost. Are they- oh, I'm sorry, I entered from the left side of the screen this time, alright? I'm not used to this. <laughs> Get me back in there. Here we are. Hey, you look just like the town guardsman from the other town. Wallace! Mr. Wallace, our scouts saw your approach and we know of your quest. This is the armor outpost. The brave are holed up here, deep in enemy territory. It's dangerous, yet equipped. I would like to have that music sheet up there, if possible. You. With treasure night thwarted, me timbers are shivered. I tearfully thank you with lips all a-quiver. You're welcome, I guess. Uh, you're the same person- I meant to talk to the horse. I want to talk to the horse, please. <laughs> I'm a quarter donkey on my mother's side. Fascinating. Very fascinating indeed. It's so nice to learn of the heritage and the ancestry of these people. Just not in a good mood. I wish someone could cheer me up. Well, okay, I'll give it a shot. Um, uh, <laughs> I like these dialogue options. Have you heard the gastronomer started to cook with bouillon? I tried some, but my soup was gold! Well, yeah, that was, that was definitely worth my time and effort. What's the other dialogue option do? <laughs> uh, uh, let's go with the other one. Hey, stop. Why would they just leave the catapult unattended? The operator is out to launch! <laughs> Funny, right? <laughs> but seriously. I fear as though my puns are not as exquisite as compared to that of the bard back in town. Uh, alright. Let's just... See if we can get that music sheet real quick. Eh, how on earth am I supposed to get that without... Because I have to jump off of the ladder in order to get it, so there- eh, Okay, just give me a second, I have to adjust myself properly. Oh, ah! Wait a minute. Wait one gosh darn second. What if I were to jump over here? There are no hidden platforms for me to ascend? Fascinating. Well, there's probably an alternate means of reaching that, so... I'll just, uh, make the long way around and see what else we can investigate right here. For one thing, it looks like that there are a couple of armor craftsmen up here. So I can improve my armor. 
This be the Ariel Anvil. Need an armor upgrade? If you need something forged, I'm your fella. Ah, ah. What have we got? Stalwart plate, my original armor. Simple but sturdy. The final guard. Drop half as much gold when you fall in battle. Conjurer's coat. Sacrifice some protection for a higher magic limit. And harvest magic from defeated foes. Dynamo mail. Perform two consecutive shuffle drops to unleash a powerful charge slash. That sounds interesting. Mail of momentum. Heavily played it. Keep your footing when struck by enemies, but stopping may be a problem. Oh. Ooh. <laughs> Wait, flashy, acrobatic, useless! You know what? You know this is the one I'm gonna get. It's totally worth the investment. <laughs> because, honestly, like, the other ones definitely sound interesting, but this one makes me sparkle, and I also do backflips and front flips and fancy stunts. Like, seriously, why would you not do this? I just drank an Ikora Fortune by mistake because I didn't even realize I had that equipped. Like, seriously? Why wouldn't you get this? <laughs> oh, alright. That's a nice shovel blade you have there, lad. But I can improve it. Unlock its true abilities. What have we got here? Oh, charge handle. Hold your attack to unleash a powerful charge slash. Trench blade. Dig up a whole pile in one mighty motion. Drop spark. Slash to spark the ground when you're at full health. Oh, so it's sort of like the sword beam from Zelda, which most of the time I never really found a use for. <laughs> um, hold your attack to unleash a powerful charge slash. This one sounds interesting, but I'm wondering if it only works if you're stationary. That's what I'm really curious about. Um, this one... I'm gonna purchase this one, and just to see what its effects are like. Thanks, mate. Ah, so you can still move, but you move at a bit of a slower pace, but you can still jump. Alright. Alright, this sounds pretty cool. I'll try to make use of that. Oh, you look like an interesting fellow. Are you this town's version of the bard? Horns, the finest instruments, but they only really come to life in a duet. Okay, then. That's, uh, that's good information to have. I really like how sparkly my character is right now. <laughs> Uh, I bought, like, the most useless upgrade, but oh well. It made me sparkly and it allows me to do front flips and back kicks and whatnot, so I'm happy with it. I do say so! Why I haven't seen such a decadent airship since I sold mine! Ha! Very interesting. I'm glad I took the time to talk to these people and learn of their stories. There's a signal gap up there, and I'm beginning to think that there's probably a secret area somewhere in this area. A secret area somewhere in this area that allows me to reach that area is what I'm going with. So, let's jump onto this little platform right here. And then jump to the next screen so hopefully not find another platform. Ah. I am disappointed. I am super disappointed right now. However, my woes uh, shall be betided if I just jump down here and retrieve that music sheet. Up here. Nice. Okay, so we got what we needed to get. Now let's see if we can enter the showroom, it appears. There's just so much more- <gasps> FASHIONABLE OUTFITS! I could be the most fabulous shovel nut and warrior in the land. Excellent. Ah, hats! My greatest passion. Nothing I enjoy more than a crisp snap of a well tailored brim. With my vast riches! <laughs> Rolston! The casuals are coming to steal our video games again! I'm sorry. With my vast riches, I could buy this whole store, but I forgot my wallet. Oh, upstanding knight! You could part with a paltry 1,000 gold, no? Pay or nay? I'll pay. Why not? Well, thanks. I can't believe that worked. I just got ripped off. Yep, that was a worthy investment. I buy only the best, and for the latest purchase, unfortunately, I'm only 1,000... <laughs> really. <laughs> Not enough to loan me, eh? Come now, sir, I assure you I'm good for it. <laughs> I wonder if you get something for giving away all of your money to these people. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna have to come back here with like a bunch of gold and just see if that's the case. Oh, that King Knight, he's so regal, such a refined fashion sense. But honestly, I'd rather be your queen. I'm surprised Sir Jerkoff has not gotten hooked up just yet. And it's probably due to the fact that he, maybe he was in love with Shield Knight. That's probably the case. Hmm. There appears to be some sort of oaf over at the previous area that we visited. 
I uh, think I'm gonna go ahead and see if I can get into a bit of a tussle with him. Just see what's up. Ah! I can't believe this! Trouble, friend? Have you lost your way? Bought the best gear, the slickest armor, the strongest rope! Uh, pardon? Are you in need of help? Those stuck-up order of no quarter clouds have no idea what they're missing! Hey! You look like a knight! Sir Jerkoff, at your service, but I'm not in league with- So I heard that you beat a knight, you get to take their title, right? Please don't do something you'll regret, I don't want- The Great Bars Knight! Like the sound of that! They'll have no choice but to accept me now! Come on! Let's do this- Oh god, here we go again. Okay. Uh, first of all, abuse this power that I have, because I am gonna get my arse handed to me, like a total putz. Uh, at least I have some method of avoiding that attack. Wow. This is a uh, surprisingly easier compared to the previous encounter. Just saying. Okay, let's just smack him in the face, and he changed the time of day. That is, uh, that's definitely an interesting attack. That's not one I've seen yet. I'll give you that. Oh, I think we got this in the bag, though. Hey, nice. The great Baz Knight has been defeated. And a nice sum of gold to be rewarded with, too. No way! Not even my best moves could phase you! Well fought. If you can accept defeat like a true knight, you always have your dignity. No, they'll never let me into the order! I'll never ever ever! Wow! I wonder if there's any way I could possibly... <laughs> this is just cruel! <laughs> I was looking for a way to cheer him up, but no, that's just mean. Oh my god. Seriously, game. Uh, well, I do hope he'll find his place in life because I don't think I was able to really fulfill it. Okay, let's head back to the town real quick, to the armor outpost. Uh, first thing I actually want to check, I want to go up here in my sparkly armor, and I want to check something in the armor smithing department. <laughs> I mean, you know, like, this armor was pretty hilarious, and I wasted all my money on it, but I prefer the original look. So, unless I have a really drastic need to go back and try and get some, like, very specific means of acquiring treasure or whatnot, I'm gonna hold on to the regular armor, just because I like the blue armor. I think it's unique. That's pretty much my only line of reasoning, is that if it's fashionable, I'd prefer it, and the gold armor was just kind of getting gaudy after a while. Uh, alright, let's just waste our money. Excelsior! Now that I have my purchase, I shall take my leave. And you. Oh, such a charming barrette. If only I had the means to afford it. Money is a mere 1,000 gold. Thank you, hero. Nice hat. Ah, oh, my precious hats! That's a lovely helmet, so lovely, so lovely! I must inquire, sir, about your curious collection. Travel land far and wide, I do. Searching, learning, teaching, collecting, all shapes, all sizes. Hats! Each one I wear grants me a new power, and your hat looks powerful indeed. Intriguing, but I'm rather attached to my helmet. Yes, yes, about that. <laughs> Are you serious?! It's a boss fight inside the town! <laughs> oh my god, I love this game. <laughs> He's getting into a fight over hats. It's like I have not stopped playing Team Fortress 2, like for real. <laughs> I love this. I sincerely love this game. Can I just say, Yacht Club Games, you have done me a great service. You have, you have definitely satisfied me already. I haven't even beaten the game. And this is, like, one of the best boss fights I've ever had the pleasure of witnessing and participating in. A very fine spectacle indeed, Mr. Collector of Hats. <laughs> Enough! I know not what came over me. My hunger for hats took control. Your beautiful hat, it's a helmet. Righto! I knew that! Where is a good health for now? Right, well, off I go then. Off he goes, gallivanting away. <laughs> I just... Oh, man. 10 out of 10. 11.5 out of 10. 20 out of 10. I give this game so much props for having me get into a fight, get into a brawl over my helmet. <laughs> That's just amazing. Uh, well, that seems, that seems like a good time to maybe conclude this episode. 
But the first thing I want to point out before we leave is that my my reflection is not cast in this mirror. And that makes me slightly disappointed, but apart from that, this was definitely an experience to be cherished. Now he's up there. I actually... I gotta go talk to him one more time. <laughs> I just have to see if his dialogue changes. So, let's just ascend the ladder. Go check out what we can see. Go have a short conversation with him. See what's what. If Can I even reach him? Eh, nice. Oh, bother, you found me. I'm so embarrassed. I promise I'll pester you no longer. Here's some gold for all the trouble. I just got 1,000 gold for talking to a guy. Like, again, seriously, this is probably one of the best games I've ever played. Oh my god. Alright, well, before we fully wrap up this episode, there is one more thing I need to do, and that is head back to the original town, the original village, and return these music sheets to the bard. And maybe I'll purchase some health or magic upgrades. Let's see. Whoa! Three music sheets. Well, I've actually accumulated quite the collection. Wonderful! Let's see here. Oh, you found flowers of antimony. Your puns had better be top-notch today, Mr. Bard. Full disclosure, I transcribed this opus from another bard in a faraway land. Brilliant! Was that a joke? I, I, I don't really know if that was a joke. I wasn't really paying attention. Hail, Shovel Knight, hero of music. What can this humble bard do for you today? Play me a song. Let's play a song before we leave. Uh, actually, let's go ahead and do... Adventure awaits. Travel the Plains. This is the one. Travel the Plains is the music that I love the most in the game so far. So, you know what? Let's play that one. Boop, boop, boop. Oh, he's all out of meal tickets. Oh, what a shame. What about you? Can you give me any more magic upgrades? Yes, I can get a magic upgrade. Awesome. Nice. 80 magic points. And... I think we're pretty much good to go by this point, so... I think I'm just gonna wrap up the episode right here, and I will continue to listen to Mr. Bard play a fancy little tune of the Grasslands. So, thank you guys very much for watching, hope you have a great day or evening, and I shall see you in the next video. Goodbye.